We're going to look at an exercise progression for the gallbladder channel located along the lateral portion of the body. The muscles associated with this channel have two primary functions. One is stabilization, to prevent the body from moving too far from one side to the other. The other is rotation. Both of these are very active in movements like walking and running. We're going to look at an exercise progression that's going to highlight the stabilization role. We're going to be bringing the body into a stretch, stretching the side of the channel, and then activating that channel to bring the body back to midline. So for the first progression for the human flag, which is a great exercise for the gallbladder sinew channel, I'm going to put the stick to the side of my foot, about a foot to a foot and a half distance. The farther it is away, the easier this will be, but if it's too far away, it's going to slip. So I need to start with maybe about a foot to a foot and a half. My arm's going to be to the side, waist level, grab a hold. I'm going to turn my chest towards the stick, reach up with my other hand. So now there's going to be two motions. I'm going to push. That push is going to help turn my chest forward. Push and pull. But the pull isn't with the arm. See how my elbow is bending? I need to let that arm elongate. And the pull is really using the shoulder blade muscles to pull the arm back behind the head. So push, pull, both arms go long, and I'm using that to fully stretch the sides, elongate the sides, and this is just the stretching to get into the position for the human flag. All right, let's see it from the other side. Arm is about waist level, just comfortable, off to the side. Reach over, grab the handle. My chest can turn towards the bar so that when I go to do the full movement, I can turn my chest back forward. Coming from that push, pull, arms are straight. So the pull is pulling the arm behind so it's lined up with the head and elongate the side. So this gets you into the position then to engage the obliques when we're doing this on a more solid surface. One hand lower, one hand higher. We're going to start with opening up the rib cage. So I'm elongating the side away from the pole, and I want to use my push to turn the body and the pull to turn the body. So I have to find the right position. Push, pull. So this is pulling back from the shoulder blade muscles. This is pushing to turn my chest forward. And then from there, once I get that side open up, then engage the glutes, engage the obliques on the side so I'm not long on that side. Push, pull. I can either hold or I can do reps. About arm width away from the pole, lower hand. That lower hand pushing is going to help turn the chest forward. The top hand pulling is going to also help turn the chest forward. So initially get that stretch, push, pull. Then activate the glutes, activate the obliques, and straight line, expand. Bend and push the arm fully so that you straighten the arms. All right, progression three. So starting to work on the human flag, but we're at a little bit of an angle. The farther the bar is out, the easier it would be. This was, would be much more difficult if I were on the straight line. So this makes it a little bit more achievable, but it's the same aspect. I want to push to turn my chest, pull, but it's not pulling with my arm, it's pulling with my shoulder blade, pulling with the lats. That'll start to turn me, and I want to get the stretch first. So not in a rush to get up. Push, 
poll. Up. All right, again, I'm going to be a little ways away from the bar. That makes this a little bit more achievable, but I'll have not parallel to the ground. I'll be a little bit more uh, angled. Push. First, I want to let that open up the rib cage. So I'm getting a stretch. Arms straight on the top. Pulling with the scapular muscles. Pushing. And up. 